This is code.org. Let's see what we're working on. Do this. This program simulates flipping 10 coins on each loop. It, it appends another random, that means adds to the end of a list, another random 0 or 1 to the list. Okay, so we start off with counters equal to 0, and then we have this variable coin flips, which is an empty list. We then say while counters less than 10, and it is, right now it is 0, while it's less than 10, okay, do this. Append coin flip. So append to our list coin flip, add to this list a random number, either 0 or 1. Okay, so the computer picks a random number, 0 or 1, and says smack, and adds it to coin list. Coin list gets that number. We then hit this, and remember this means make counter equal to counter plus 1. So counter was at 0, counter is now equal to 1. We hit the bottom, zoop, boop. Counter is 1 less than 10, yes it is. And so we dip back into our loop, coin flips, random number, and then it will keep going. Here, let's have it do the work. Counter is equal to zero. List has a zero in it was the random number that time. Now we have a one. Now counter is equal to two. Now we have a zero. And it's going to just keep going. And then once it has our whole list, it will print it out down here. Cool. All right, you need to... You'll need to add code to stimulate rolling dice. That means appending 10 random numbers between 1 and 6 to a list. Run the program, got it. All right, so they gave us this list, dice rolls. We're going to need a loop, a while loop or a while loop. And I'm going to put it down here where it says, yes, right there is where I'm going to put it. Now, what do I want in this? Well, they use counter is less than 10. Okay. So we could use counter again if we want to set it equal to zero, except they give us this variable counter two. So that's great. I'm going to say while counter two is less than 10, okay, because it starts at zero. So if it starts at zero, it will print something on zero or add a pin something zero and then all the way to nine. Well, that's 10 times and then it will stop at 10. So while it's doing this, how do we add? How do we append? Just like this, right? Append item. So I'm going to go to variables. I'm going to look for append. And that adds something to the end of a list. So append, whoops. I need that in my loop. So it actually does it many times. The name of my list. The name of my list. I'll shrink that. Is dice rolls. So I'll have the word, that here. And then what do we want to add? Well, it will be a variable. Because it's going to be a random number. Random number, right? Oop. Let me just get rid of some of these spaces. So it will be a random number between 1 and 6. So this will, means it will start at 1 and it will go to 6. So it can have any option between 1 and 6. Then what do we want to do? Right now, this is an infinite loop. It's an error because if we don't add to counter, this will run forever. Ever and ever and ever. It's going to keep going because counter is 0. That's always less than 10. Let's see. I'll show you. It might crash things but you know why not so it just hits a wall and it doesn't even know what to do yeah look at this you see how it keeps going it has no idea what to do you just got it stuck forever well i did so we got to make sure we add to counter uh to do that just like they did up here counter plus plus ours is counter two plus plus okay and again that is identical no they don't give us a block for it interesting all right counter two plus plus counter two plus plus because our variables names counter two and again this is identical saying counter two plus plus is identical to this i just want to reiterate that this is the exact same thing counter plus plus is counter two equals counter oops two plus one that's what we're doing we're just saying grab counter add one to it keep going all right and this should print out now or a pin to our dice rolls 10 different rolls, 10 different random numbers, because each time we're adding 1 to counter 2, we hit the bottom, we go back up. Once counter 2 is equal to 10, it says, oh, that's it, and it drops below and runs the code that we leave. So between 0 and 10, it will add, it will append to dice rolls. Let's see what we get. I ran mine super fast, but there we are. 10 random dice rolls. And there we are again. Cool. Let's keep going.